Hi guys, it's Tanya with Scraptastic Creations. Today I'm going to create a two-page layout featuring Close to My Heart's exclusive paper pack, Hey Handsome. And I know I have challenged myself the last several weeks to create layouts with one paper pack and I still have paper left and I still have stickers left and I will get back to that and show you how many layouts I created with this paper using one paper pack. But I gotta do a little something different because I have a class that I'm teaching on Monday and I've gotta cut kits. And so I need a whole paper pack plus to cut kits for that class. So I need to work with a fresh pack for that. So this is the Hey Handsome Paper Pack by Close to My Heart and I am a Close to My Heart consultant. And so all the supplies that I use, I leave the links in the description. And if you use those links to purchase from me, it helps support me and I really appreciate that. All this paper is um, double-sided, which I absolutely love. It's awesome quality paper. And they all have a branding strip or a zip strip. So you get two of each sheets of paper and this is the paper pack. And I absolutely love this paper pack. I have been having so much fun creating things with this. And if you're looking for some more inspiration, check out my videos in my YouTube. And um, I've created several layouts with this paper pack. So I am going to be using these photos here. This is my son Colton and my son Caleb. And this is several years ago. Um, I want to say 2018. And this, this is their friend Wyatt. It's actually my son's, one of my son's very good friends, like best friends. And so I'm going to create a layout with those photos of these rascal boys messing around and wrestling. And these are some really fun photos. So there's Wyatt and my son Caleb and my son Colton. And I just thought this would be great paper for these um, photos. So... We're not going to be using this paper collection, but May is National Scrapbooking Month. And Close to My Heart has a special, and this is the special paper collection, and it is just gorgeous. And I'm going to show you this more in another video, and I'm showing you this for a reason today. This is the paper, okay? You get all of this beautiful, absolutely gorgeous paper in this exclusive collection only for the month of May in honoring National Scrapbooking Day, or uh, month, sorry. And the, and it's just, it's gorgeous, it's beautiful. And I absolutely plan to create with this paper. So if you go on to my links in the description and purchase this kit, you can create along with me and that's gonna be coming up, okay? So, this is the sticker collection, and this paper comes with this really fun, um, you can get these um, paper punch board, and there's all these fun, lovely, and flowers, and these super fun shapes that I, I love this. And then there's an exclusive double stamp set. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. So, this is a double stamp set. It's probably one of my favorite stamp sets. I absolutely love this, okay? And the cardstock to that is just, it's marbled. It's gorgeous. I love it, okay? So these are this is the cardstock, and there's the paper pack and some of the exclusive pieces that you can get. Now, this is another piece that comes in this collection, Okay, this is an exclusive stencil set and there's like four, like it's like a four kind of stencil in one. I got it behind this black piece so you can see it. So the reason I'm showing you this paper, this paper collection is one, so you can get it for National Scrapbooking Month before it's too late or before it sells out because it's only for May until supplies run out. Um, and you can also create along with me. Um, so... I wanna use this in today's layout. So this goes with this paper pack, but we're gonna pull it into the Hey Handsome paper, paper collection, which is why I'm showing you this. So those are my two reasons. I wanna pull this in and I wanna pull this in. So my inspiration for, for today's layout is, I was looking at the digital art collection and I really loved this, but I don't have the digital art collection yet. 
I, I do plan on getting it, but I have everything else to the collection and multiples of some of it. <laughs> but um, I I thought, well, I want to create this for my for this layout, and I don't have this yet, so I'm going to try to recreate this on my own. But I want to bring in some stenciling, so that is why I wanted to show you this. So we are going to go ahead and create a title. Okay, so the first thing I did was brought in my all-purpose mat. I have my blending brushes. I'm going to use both of them. I got my stencil and I got my paper. And this is two and a half by two and a half, two and three eighths by two and three eighths, and one and seven eighths by one and seven eighths. And I want to use this piece. So I'm going to take a little bit of um, loose tack tape and I'm just going to stick this down and I'm wanting to use this. And I'm gonna kind of do like an edge on here. And I'm gonna bring in my blending brush for this. I love these blender brushes. They clean so well. This is black ink, you guys. I mean, look how clean that is for black ink, okay? And I usually don't clean my brushes. Um, I have one for each color family, but I needed to clean this one. So I am literally just want to go ahead and give this an ink. Okay, you're only gonna see the edges, so it's totally cool that you just do the whole thing, just be a little easier than just kind of going along the edges. So, perfect. Okay, I'm just bringing my black ink in, and I'm just gonna give that a little edge distressing, and I'm probably most likely gonna edge distress all of my pieces on this layout. But I just wanted to show you what I was doing, okay? I am using a black, I am using a white core, um, black paper, which I absolutely love. I prefer it. I got those glued together and that's super cool. So I'm going to bring in a one and seven eighths by five and seven eighths and then a one and an eighth by six and an eighth piece of paper. I've got a charcoal piece and I'm going to use the light side and then a piece of black. I'm going to bring in the simple serif. Okay. This is an awesome die cut set. I am going to use both the uppercase and the lowercase, so these are two separate ones, of the Simple Serif, okay? So I cut the black ones already with this, and I've got those letters right here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these pieces off, okay? And I know you're like, what? what, what why are you doing that? Just bear with me. So I'm just going to cut these extra pieces sticking up right off, Okay? And I'm not gonna cut the inside ones, just the outside ones. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that with all of these letters, okay? Now, I'm gonna take this charcoal piece and I'm just gonna sand it. Just take a sanding block, any kind of little piece of sanding paper and just give it the light side. Just roughing that up a little bit, bringing out that white core, okay? Giving it, a little more interest, some detail, okay? I love it, okay? Then I'm gonna glue this on here and I'm gonna build my letters, okay? So, I already got that done. I did that, that's what it's gonna look like. I butted my letters up, I just made them touch and I cut those extra pieces off. So I want to create, I'm gonna create my title piece we're not done. I'm gonna create my title piece in my photos and I'm gonna build from there, okay? So I did go ahead and use the sander on this top piece to kind of match this one. And I'm gonna glue that right on like that. And I did cut out my lowercase letters and I'm just gonna kind of glue them on this little, um, the ending part here, this the little lip right here. How cool is that? I really love how that came out. So here is my title. I created this layout about a week and a half ago and I absolutely love how it came out. And I made these back, this back paper right here, I made that and I have this left over from that. And I really like how it looked with this title so I thought that was pretty sharp looking. So I want to recreate that. And I'm gonna show you how I did that. I have a piece of mink cardstock, okay? Close to my heart's cardstock is two-toned. I am gonna to use, I want the light side showing. So I am gonna flip 
this over to where I see the dark side because I am gonna score it and I want my raised edges on the light side. So I am just scoring this and I am not measuring this in any way. It is just random and I am going through and scoring it. So now I'm gonna take my black ink, my water-based ink, and I'm literally just gonna swipe following those raised edges that we scored, okay? So I'm bringing in two Versamats and two sheets of white daisy since I'm doing a double page layout. And I cut those in half and I'm gonna move those on the outside of both of these pieces. And then I went ahead and cut um, this pattern paper and I wanna put that on the edges of that paper right there on the inside. And then I was thinking that, oh, I just, I had this piece, they're not the same size, but it doesn't matter, I'm not gonna see them. But I was thinking that I think I want this under here to just give it that little touch of color, but I just, I don't want a lot of that showing. So I'm gonna tuck it under and I'm thinking I want it under there about, oh, just about a little more than an eighth of an inch maybe sticking out. So I, I like that. I like how it draws a little bit more color. And then I do have my title. I love how that came out. And then I cut a piece of this pattern paper. Actually, I already had it cut and I thought, well, what can I do with that? So I'm actually gonna put this in under here. And I wanna do some inking and stamping. Like, I'm super excited to do that. So I wanna do that, but I wanna lay my papers out first so I can get a feel of where I'm going to put them. So about there. And then I brought in this piece of pine cardstock. I'm gonna put this here, and I'm just kinda of putting this under here so I can draw that green over. And so I can, have another I have this as my landing spot for another embellishment cluster and bring it in my mink ink and I'm not keeping this straight or doing the whole thing just kind of here, I'll show you I'm just kind of inking that up just kind of holding it here and I'm just going to kind of give that it's going to give it like um a lot of detail in the background which is going to be way cool love that this stencil you guys is a must you need to have this in your in your stash you can do this in subtle colors on little princess layouts in the background just to have like a little grid i mean this is awesome i love it so i am going to bring in this stamp set this is urban scrapbooking workshop this is a retired stamp set it's awesome i love this for like for guys and, and your the, the boys in your life. I love this, okay? You cannot get this anymore. So find it. If you can find it, awesome. If you can't find it and you really like this and you want to recreate the layout that I'm doing, if you go onto my website and you purchase this kit from me and you're like, hey, I really want to do that, I will stamp these pieces that I'm going to use on this layout. I will stamp them and cut them and I will mail them to you. But 
you have to purchase this kit from me. So you have to use my Close to My Heart website, which I'm going to leave the link in the description of this video. If you scroll down further in the description, you will see all the links to all the products that I'm using. So you need to purchase this kit from me. And then I will go ahead and mail this to you. Just send me, a, um, uh, reach me on Facebook or um, in any one of my um social medias. I leave all those links in there. You can reach out to me and say, hey, I bought that kit from you um, using your Close to My Heart website. That's tanyaroberts.closetomyheart.com. Again, the link's in the description. I will go ahead and stamp these and mail these to you so you can recreate this. Or you can do something else with these stamp sets with this paper collection, okay? So I went ahead and I took out the charcoal cardstock and then I gave it a little bit of sanding like I did on here. And I'm probably going to sand these, ed I'm going to sand these edges probably just like this. And I stamped this stoked, okay? And I'm going to put this over here. And I used the black archival ink. So the archival ink is like a, it's a solvent based permanent ink. So and it's, it's, it's much deeper. So I stamped that because I was doing it on such a dark background. I stamped it in that. And I think I'm going to bring in this stamp set. This is the Hey Handsome. This goes to this paper. The Hey Handsome scrapbooking. I want to bring in this. And I think I'm going to bring that in right here on this green underneath of it. Okay. And I'm probably going to do it in the green, in the pine ink. So, and I'm going to pull in this camera and this arrow and possibly some stars. Okay. So I want to pull in several of these pieces though, because this is so cool. And... Um, I went ahead and also cut that. That was so awesome. I did that in the paprika ink and I want to bring in this over here somewhere. Okay. I'm going to build this embellishment cluster and I'm not real sure how I'm going to do it yet. I'm going to bring in some um, pieces behind here and I'm going to bring in some over here. I'm also going to bring in this buildable tags. You guys, tags are staple in my stash okay if you watch my videos i use these all the time okay this is still available and uh, i don't look for it to be available a lot longer so yet you, you can do so much with this you should have this in your stash so i am going to bring in this pattern paper i want to draw that in over here and I'm, this is where i'm going to put some additional photos believe it or not i'm going to put some additional photos on here but i'm also going to journal on these cards okay and i am going to add in and pull in this little reinforcer and i'm probably going to do that in the black to draw more black right up there so i'm wanting to bring in some black distressing i want to do some edge distressing with my black ink and i'm not going to make you watch me do that I did go ahead and get my um, tag reinforcers on there in black and put my black twine from my stash on those tags. I am going to edge distress all of these pieces except for this one. But I'm just going to just add a little bit of inking around the edge of that. It just kind of draws it in and gives it just another detail. And I really like the way that looks, especially with um, this paper collection. So I'm going to continue to do this and I'm going to do it off camera so you don't have to watch. And then I'm going to get these main pieces adhered down, glued down. That way there um, we can continue to work. Okay, so I got um, a bunch of that glued down and I did go ahead and um, cut and stamp this. These are um, from here, from this stamp set, that um, Urban Scrapbooking Workshop. And I cut one in um, the harbor and I used the light side. And then I cut this one in the in white and stamped that in the paprika. And that is a Cricut. This shows me right here. This is a Cricut cut. So I did use my Artistry Cricut cartridge to cut that. And... Um, I also went ahead and cut this and stamped that. That's also on the Cricut. And I cut that in white and stamped it in paprika. And then I just cut a piece of black paper and cut that around so it could have like a border. And I'm going to put that over here. Um, and I, it, I did edge distress around the, the black. Um, and I might just go ahead and sand that right around there actually so it matches 
it matches a little bit here and a little bit here. Um, and I might do a little bit more sanding around that. Um, and then I, um, I went ahead and cut a couple of circles and I distressed them and I just used a punch. And this is that pattern paper. But I was wanting to give, um, like, I was wanting to give these like a place to rest. So um, I just wanted, was gonna kind of put this underneath like this embellishment cluster right here. And this one is in the, um, this is about a three inch circle and this is in the a Harbor cardstock and I'm using the, the true side, the dark. So I got that, if I can slide this in without moving this. Um, so I'm gonna kind of put that there. Um, I'll have this moved in here a little bit more. And then I also, I'm gonna put, this one was a two and a half, so I'm gonna bring this one in over here as well. And then I went ahead and also cut this hat from the limited edition. This is so cute. So it has this um, hat thin cut, this like baseball cap and all these little things. Number one mom, number one dad, limited edition, um, all star. I just love this. You can do so many different things, little baseball caps with that. And I went ahead and cut that. And I used the light side of Harbor and I stamped this in the archival black because it is um, a little bit, it, it was a darker background, so I used the archival black. And I'm thinking of like putting this right about here. And so I will kind of just, oh, let's see. I'm gonna move this down and I'll kind of adjust this just to kind of fit around there in that. And we'll bring this down a little more and out, okay? And then I went ahead and took the um, Hey Handsome scrapbooking that I told you I was going to bring in. I wanted to bring this in, and I do want to bring that in down here, and I'm going to stamp that in pine ink. And I cut a camera, and I stamped that in black, and I really like that. So I'm going to bring that in over here. So I'm going to bring that um, Urban Stamp back in. And I'm going to use these and this. I told you I'm going to use like almost all of this. Um, and then I stamped those in the light side of charcoal ink, uh, paper. And then I stamped them in that archival black. So then I took the arrows and I stamped them in that paprika ink. And um, I'm thinking of putting these here. Okay, so I brought this in also off of that same Cricut cartridge. It came right next to this thing. And I split that in half so I can put it together and just put this on top of it. I like that. So I'm gonna bring in this stamping and I'm gonna stamp that in probably archival black. And I'm gonna do that since I'm gonna stamp on the darker so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And I'm going to, it's sort of like arrowhead. So I'm gonna kind of have that facing in here. And I'm thinking I'm gonna put that right here. Perfect, I like it. And then I'm gonna do this one coming in on this side. Excellent. And I think, I think that's all I'm gonna do with that. So there is a few more things I'm wanting to do. I did go ahead and get these pieces glued down. I have popped this up and this up with foam tape just to give it a little bit um, more dimension. I am gonna bring in a few more photos and I'm actually gonna bring in a few more than that, but I'm gonna bring that in here in a minute and talk to you about that. But I wanted to add a little bit more stamping and I'm gonna use the Harbor ink and I'm gonna bring in this stamp, and I know you probably can't really see that very well, but it is that background elements. It's this one. I like that. I'm gonna let that go there with three of those. 
I then want to, I'm going to bring in these photos. And one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to use these flip flaps. If you've never used flip, flip flaps, I can't say that, tongue twister. If you've never used flip flaps, they come in different sizes. They are amazing and you are missing out because you can do so many things with these. So I am going to, I'm going to put this on the top of my memory protector. So once I put this in my sleeve, and I will show you that at the end, I'm also going to show you my tags at the end where I'm going to bring in some more photos on that, on them. I am going to put this on, not here, I'm going to put this on my the outside of my flip flap and I will be able to add more photos. So this is my son. This was, oh, in 2008. 18. This is my son Colton before he left for the military. And this is my son Caleb. And this is Colton's, one of his very close friends that he grew up with um, doing 4-H. And um, he, my kids um, did horses in, in 4-H and um, they, he met Wyatt. He was like eight years old and they became really good friends, very close friends. Wyatt is one of Colton's best friends and I think he will remain one of his best friends forever. And um, Wyatt also served in the military under a different branch. He was in the um, the Air Force. My son was in the, um, in the Army. And... Um, so they just they just grew up together and so Wyatt came to visit Colton um down here after we moved and um they just had a great time you know boys they just they wrestle they fool around they play around um they're just silly I have like a whole bunch more photos of them um all of them like just wrestling on the ground and acting silly and then I have other ones of them like just visiting each other while they're all on their devices separately and I'm like really so I'm gonna put this on top of my memory protector I'm gonna add a few more photos into here and I do want to bring in um I want to bring in these black arrow die cuts I really love these these are like three something and this is a paper board and these I've, you get I've been using these like crazy so there's like, they have ones that are just like stars and ones that are like flowers and ones that are like brackets. And you get a whole sheet of these different things that are awesome. So I'm thinking, oh, I like that a lot. I'm going to use that one for sure because I really liked that. Um, I like a long one. I like it pointing here to kind of like to my journaling. So I think I'm going to use this one. Um, I'm going to put this one up here awesome and then I want to add in I want to add in another one and I want to add that in over here so I'm thinking that maybe I will do yeah maybe I will do Actually, how cool would it be to have this pointing to that epic? So that would be pretty cool. Like if we could do something like that. That's kind of neat, right? I think I like that epic. One way or one way or another, epic. That is so true with these boys. Okay, right? Everything they do. So I think that's actually kind of really cool. So I'm going to bring in some black dots. Just thought this would be another fun little um, embellishment. And I like it. And if you stick with me, I'm going to come back when I'm done this. And I am going to show you how I attach my, um, my flip-flop to my memory protector. And how I cut my... Um, memory protector so my journaling cards slide in and out and are interactive without me taking it out of the page protector. Um, you'll be able to find still shots for this on my Facebook business page, Scraptastic Creations with Tanya Roberts.
and um, they'll also be on Instagram and Pinterest and all of those links will be in the description as well. So you can look me up and follow me and I like to post lots of things on there. Perfect, I love it. So real quick, let me show you that up close. So just so you know, they're only playing here, having fun. They they think they're they think they're um, cool. They are cool, but isn't that cool? I love this. I love all this fun detail that that stamping did. And I think this came out great. I'm telling you, that stencil is a must have. And that is a special only running for this month or until supplies last. last. And let me show you. <clears throat> this is the stamp of the month, Little Stinkers. How cute is this? You can get this for free um, by joining my VIP program and having a qualifying purchase. <clears throat> and it's super cool deal because um, they, um, close to my heart, um, gives you back 15% of your purchases to use as a credit for your next purchase. So you keep saving 15%, which is a really neat program that they offer. And um, if you don't want to be a part of that um, program and save money, you can get that stamp set for $5. And this is only available for the month of May. This is the stamp of the month. You can get it for $5 with a $50 purchase. So you can buy these um, supplies to get this. And I can mail you these um, things that you can't get um, if you don't have this stamp set and that Cricut cartridge. You can get that. I can mail that to you. And you can get the stamp of the month for five bucks if you want to take advantage of that. And I'll also have all the details on my Scraptastic Creations page. If you want to look me up on, on Facebook, I'm happy to have you follow me. So I have my layout in my page protector. And I went ahead and sliced that with my scissors and a cutting mat. And this is how when you're flipping through your album, you don't have to... Um, pull your whole page out to look at these tags. I'm gonna use I'm gonna use the back and front of both of these, and I'm gonna have some additional photos on there of when um, Wyatt came to visit um, my son before he left for the military for the for the army and before um, Wyatt left for the military. So I'm gonna um, document on that and some of the things that they did. Um, I think they went to they went to the a couple museums with uh, my husband and just they had a good time and um, then I'm gonna have so I'll have my journaling and then I'll have some photos down but I do want to show you how to put this memory this um, flip flap on if you've not done it this is super sticky so try not to lift it up because pretty much when it's down, it's down. You can adjust if you have to, but I don't recommend it. So I'm literally just gonna line this up with this other photo. And I am going to, trying to see and not get in your way. So I am just gonna line that up with that photo and I am going to let go. Perfect. And so now I have, just pushing that down real well. Now I have this interactive page where I can pull these out for additional photos and my journaling. And then I have this, which tells they're just a little funny little thing. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit the like button and sub subscribe button. Till next time.